Hey there. Today, we'll learn how to add signatures in Gmail. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, buckle up for personalized email magic. Let's dive in. Typically, a signature for your Gmail account includes crucial details like your name, workplace, and phone number, and it may even feature an inspirational quote. To set up your signature, head to the top right corner of your UI. Click on the gear icon for settings, then choose See All Settings. Ensure you're in the general settings area, not the inbox or labels. Scroll down to the signatures section. If there are no signatures, click Create New. Create a work signature by typing Work and selecting Create. Compose your work signature, adjusting the font, style, and colors as needed. You can also insert your company logo. Move the cursor to the bottom, click Insert Image, and select the logo, resizing it if necessary. After creating a work signature, take advantage of Gmail's functionality to craft multiple situational signatures, such as a personal one. I'll show you how to manage and assign these signatures based on your preferences. Additionally, I recommend creating signatures outside of Gmail using tools like Google Docs or Microsoft Word for more customization options, as Gmail's UI is somewhat limited. You can easily create a signature here, copy it, and paste it into Gmail. Your signature will seamlessly transfer. Now that your signature is ready, let's discuss the settings below. Currently, for new emails, it indicates no signature, meaning your email will go out with a blank bottom. For personal emails, choose the personal signature, and for work, the work signature. Consider whether you want your signature to appear when replying or forwarding emails, it's a personal preference. In corporate settings, you might choose not to include your signature in replies to avoid cluttering email threads. Since you use Gmail mostly for personal use, select the personal signature for new emails and no signature for replies. There's an option to place the signature before the quoted text in replies. Leave this off for now. Once satisfied with the signature settings, scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. After saving changes, you'll return to the Gmail inbox. When composing a new message, you'll notice your chosen signature automatically appears. You can manually delete it or switch to another signature by clicking on the Signature option. Setting up a signature on Gmail Mobile is slightly different. In the Gmail Mobile app, Navigate to Settings by clicking the three stripes at the top left, scrolling down, selecting the gear icon, choosing the desired account, and finding the mobile signature option. Currently, it indicates it is not set. When you click on this, unlike the desktop or laptop UI, regardless of the type of computer you're using, Gmail prompts you to input your signature immediately. You're not assigning a name to your signature here, such as personal or work. Enter a signature for your mobile device with Gmail, including a note about potential typos. After selecting OK to save it, you'll see that it's been set. Returning to the mobile UI inbox, click Compose at the bottom right, and there you'll see your signature has appeared. You can establish a signature for each account in Gmail, but unfortunately, you can't specify how you want signatures configured, like distinguishing between work and personal or for replies and forwards. Thanks for perfecting your email style with us today. If this video strikes a chord, give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Until next time, happy emailing.